on a practical level, we know that you recommend you recommend uh, supplementing with broad spectrum vitamins and minerals. Um, will any you know over the counter multivitamin product work for that, or do you have more specific recommendations in that regard? I I do, and I wish I could give you a list of ten or twenty or thirty, and even the manufacturers wish there were ten or twenty or thirty. <laughs> it's hard to get other companies interested in going into this. Um, people often ask me the question, are you a little differently? And I, I just want to mention, they'll say, um, if I buy one of these one a day type of vitamins, which with every passing year, they're adding more and more minerals to them. We still call them one a day vitamins. Um, is that a bad thing? And I always say, no, it's not bad. I mean, I, any amount of additional nutrients you can get, um, it's probably a good thing, but you have to look at how they differ from the ones that have been shown to be therapeutically beneficial, okay? And there has never even been an anecdote that I'm aware of, of anybody um, improving their depression or anxiety by taking the over-the-counter formulas. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you the two ways they're different, it'll make perfect sense. Mm -hmm. One is the dose. The over-the-counter ones are typically about 20% of the REA and the recommended dietary allowance. And the recommended dietary allowance is based on, you know what it's based on? Have you ever heard this story? Uh, I'm quizzing I, you again so you can edit I, it out. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I, I was, <laughs> no, I, I actually, I don't. I don't think I know where you're going with that. Okay, so it was based on what what it was believed to take to keep World War II soldiers able to march basically mm -hmm. and fight. Mm -hmm. So it's based on healthy young individuals who did not have a mental disorder and who they were only concerned about physical health and they were eating well in addition. So it has nothing to do with treating a mental health problem. So not surprisingly, RDA is a very, very low bar. Now, um, that doesn't mean that any of the broad spectrum formulas that have been studied are mega doses. They are not. Uh, but there is this broad area between the RDA, which is quite low, and the tolerable upper level at which you have, there has occasionally been a report of a toxicity. And all of the broad spectrum formulas fall in that range. So they are a higher dose. They're also in balance. They also have a broader spectrum. So the main thing is the dose and the spectrum. So I mentioned that the kind of one a day type, and I don't mean to be referring to one a day as a brand, the one a day type of um, uh, vitamins and minerals have increased the number of their minerals, but they're still very few. And the reason is, I think, is that they know they have to start telling people to take more than one pill a day because it's yeah. hard with minerals to get them into a single pill, you know? Yeah. I always say, think of the Rocky Mountains where I live, you know, <laughs> minerals are bulky. So anyway, and the broad spectrum formulas are simply based on what is known about brain function. And so there are roughly 50 vitamins and 15 minerals and a few antioxidants too in very small amounts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I know quite a bit about this kind of problem I'm because I have my own supplement brand. That's and, right. I just remembered that. Yeah. And, and, um, I have basically all, almost all my formulas are not in capsules actually for this reason, because one of the things that I do differently from pretty much almost every other brand out there is I'm, I'm using real dosages of these ingredients that I'm putting in my formula. Whereas most other supplement companies are putting in one tenth or one twentieth the effective dose, and there is a physical mass problem that you encounter mm -hmm. when you are doing what I'm doing, which is, if you want to put in, let's say, to a brain formula, you want to put in fifteen different ingredients, all at real clinically effective, you know, the studied doses that have been shown in research to be effective. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you've got four grams of powder. It doesn't fit into one capsule or two capsules or three or capsules, you know? Um, so, and I have that problem with all my supplements, including my multivitamin and mineral formula for the exact reason that you said. Um, so most of them end up being powders or they end up being at least five capsules or so. 
so uh, per serving. So um, yeah, in, in general, if somebody's saying, hey, take this multivitamin, multimineral supplement, and it's easy to take, it's only one pill a day, that's pretty much a, a dead giveaway that it doesn't have adequate amounts of everything that you need if they crammed it into one capsule. And I find that many people don't understand this. They don't understand that there is a physical mass. You can't just condense all the stuff into one capsule. There's a, you know, you, you have to deal with the laws of physics in that regard. So. Yeah. So does anybody ever report improved mental health on uh, any of the formulas you make? For sure.